Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 161. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook, Magic Trick 155 to 167. Hey, Trick 161, I'm going to show you one of my favorite features in Excel, Go To. Now, I have all sorts of examples. Now, here's the first example. I've gone to the internet and copied some data. And what's happened when I pasted it here is there's a bunch of odd objects. There's little charts. Oops, I clicked on that link. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, there's a bunch of objects here. There's a little table right there. There's a bunch of uh, junk that came in when I pasted this. So I'm going to use go to. And the way you get to go to is F5. Actually, in 2003, you go to the edit menu. In 2007, you go to the home. And then uh, right here, go to, and there's go to, go to special, which we'll use a lot, and then uh, go to special for formulas, comments, etc. I'm going to use the, the F5 and then click special. You're not going to believe this one. We want objects. And what's so awesome about this trick is when you click OK, it highlights all the objects, and you can see all those little junky things that came in. This also works for charts when you have like five charts and you want to just delete them all. Go to special objects and then hit the delete key. Boom, just like that. Another great feature in go to, and I'm going to highlight a bunch of these tables, is go to comments. So I have all these comments here, right? And all I want to do is delete them. So I hit F5, special, go to, and I want comments. Right there, it's the first one. Click OK. Sure enough, all of the comments in this uh, she, the highlighted selection are highlighted. Right click and then delete comments. And just like that, all the comments are deleted. Now I want to do another example here. I want to go, go to highlight all of these tables here. And I want to hit F5, go to, special. And now I want to try constants. And notice you have a bunch of op, uh, options here. I'm going to say constants uh, and then uncheck all of these. And I want to just go to the numbers. Notice it's not highlighting. Those are formulas there, but just the numbers. Now I can add some formatting like Control Shift 4. Control Shift 4. Now I didn't go to the formulas. I hit F5, special. If I clicked uh, uh, constants, I've uh, uh, and I want uh, formulas would be different. I have to click here, which was what we're going to do next. Formulas, and now I want to go to uh, numbers. Click OK. Oh, that's because I didn't have the range highlighted. So I'm going to try that again. Highlight all the way down here. And then F5, go to special formulas, and then numbers. And now it's highlighting just the formulas that evaluate to numbers. And now I hit Control Shift 4. And I added that format. Now I want to try uh, that same trick again. Let's see if I can highlight the whole sheet by clicking right there. F5. I want to go to formulas. Now I want to find just the logical formulas. And sure enough, there are a bunch of them. Now let's try that again. Go to F5, special. And now I'm going to try formulas and just the text formulas. And sure enough, there are a bunch of text formulas. Oh, there's some text formulas right there. Um, and there, oh, there's some text formulas right there and there. So there's a, there's a bunch of them. Now I want to highlight the whole range and hit F5, go to special. And now I want to try formulas, but just errors. Oh, this is a great trick when you can't find all the errors in your spreadsheet. Click OK. And sure enough, it found them there. Now the next. Uh, go to is current region. And actually, there's a better way than F5 special current regions. It's control asterisks. And current region is defined as your table. So it, when it ru runs into a complete blank column or row of values, it stops. So when I hit control asterisks, and I'm using my asterisks on the number pad, control asterisks, it highlights the current region. If you hit F5 special, you can see there's a current region right there. Next one is current array. And if I highlight the, the whole table, notice the way that um, current 
region worked is you had to have a cell uh, some highlighted in your table. Now I want to do the same thing with an array. And you can see I have the transpose here, and all of these uh, formulas are part of that array. Whereas in this uh, formula right here, I have an array formula, but I, it's, I've actually put it into one cell and then copied it over. So let's see the difference between um, go to, special, and current array. Now I'm not going to do this one either because there's a keyboard shortcut. It's control forward slash control forward slash. So if you work with arrays a lot, that's a pretty handy one. Now let's compare it to this, control forward slash. Oh, it highlights just that, that one cell because that is the current array. When you put an array into a single cell and copy it over, that's not part of the current array. Now, let's try uh, go to blanks, which we've done many times in these videos. Go to, special, and blanks. And why is this so important? I've highlighted the range because uh, for the average function, sometimes you don't want blanks. You really want zero, so you could use this and then add a zero. Also for pivot tables, if you have a blank in your data set, then usually the default function will be count. So I'm going to type zero and then control enter. Now if I do averages, which is right there, or a pivot table, um, I will get the uh, sum function instead of the count function. Now let's uh, go to another example for go to. We have um, uh, subtotals here. And if I collapse these and try and copy these right here, control C, it actually copies um, all of the data underneath, not just the subtotal. So there's a go to trick, go to special, and then visible cells only. Now there's a keyboard shortcut for that. It is alt semicolon, alt semicolon. And then uh, I've highlighted the visible cells. Now I can copy, and you can see the dancing ants are going around just the visible cells. And now when you copy, it'll copy just the subtotals. Uh, another couple last things with go to the last cell. Uh, hit F5 special last cell here. And it goes to the last uh, the intersect. Here's the last column and row that we've used. I think control end is the keyboard shortcut for that too, control end. There's two other important go to. I have a bunch of data validation here. So I want to hit F5, special, and I want to go to all the data validation. You can go to all of it or the same. The same would be uh, whatever the active cell is. I'm going to say all because I just want to delete all this data validation. Now I'm going to hit Alt. DL to invoke data validation. It says more than one type of data validation is current. That's fine. Erase current settings. Click OK. And that is a quick way to highlight all the data validation. And then delete it. One last one. Let's try uh, conditional formatting. F5. Special. Conditional format. Uh, and it says all are same. I'm going to say all and click OK. Now I can um, Alt O D, Alt O D, and let's say I wanted to delete all of this. All right, so go to totally amazing. My favorite uh, couple ones are definitely the the go to for uh, visible cells only, uh, current region control asterisks, and of course the objects. I love that when you're bringing stuff in and you need to get rid of all those objects. All right, see you next trick.